everyone. In the past, I've grown broccoli microgreens on paper towels with just plain water, and I was surprised to see how nicely they grew. There are people who say that microgreens do not need any nutrients to grow since the seed contains all the nutrients the plant needs to begin its life. Sure enough, the broccoli microgreens grew on the paper towels with just water, but when I grew them side by side next to soil, the ones in soil did much better. That experiment was only meant to see if the seeds would germinate and grow on paper towels, and the soil was used as a benchmark to compare them with. Many people commented on that video and said the experiment was not fair. So I set up a new experiment, just to be fair. Here I have three sets of trays all ready for my experiment. I'm going to test the paper towel method three ways. One, paper towels with water. Two, paper towels with Grow Big hydroponic solution. And three, paper towels with the Master Blend hydroponic formula. For each method, I need a set of three trays. That's why you see nine trays here. One tray has holes for the water to drain and the tray underneath has no holes and acts as a catch tray. The third tray is used to cover the seeds for the first four days to keep them in the dark, just as they would be in the dark if they were germinating in soil. I'm going to mix up two different hydroponic solutions into one gallon containers. This one is Grow Big from Fox Farms and this one is the Master Blend formula. The Master Blend is a three-part formula, one part Master Blend, one part Epsom salt, and one part calcium nitrate. The instructions on the package are to mix 12 grams of the Master Blend and the calcium nitrate to five gallons of water, and then six grams of the Epsom salt to five gallons of water. So to figure out how much you need for one gallon of water, I just divided the 12 grams by 5 and I get 2.4 grams for the Master Blend and Calcium Nitrate and 1.2 grams of Epsom Salt. I use a food scale which does not give me the grams and decimals, so I typically measure out 2 grams for the Master Blend and Calcium Nitrate and 1 gram for the Epsom Salt. Here I have already mixed up the Master Blend and it is in a one gallon container ready for my experiment. Now I need to mix the Grow Big solution. This is easy to mix. Just shake the bottle and then add two teaspoons to a gallon of water. It's that easy. I'm going to put both hydroponic solutions into spray bottles, so I need to mark which one has the Grow Big and which one has the Master Blend formula. A piece of painter's tape and a Sharpie marker does the trick. I like using the blue painter's tape because it does not leave a sticky residue like masking tape does. Now it's time to mark each of the trays as well. This tray will only get plain water. Oops, put that on a little crooked. Next I'll mark the tray with the Grow Big solution. And the third tray I will label Master Blend. So now I have three trays set up for this experiment. One for the plain water, one for the Grow Big formula, and one for the Master Blend and I've got my spray bottles labeled accordingly as well. Now this part is obvious. I'm filling the labeled bottles with the corresponding solutions and now I'm all set up ready to start the experiment. To start I line each of the trays with paper towels. I use these paper towels in my kitchen to eat on so I figure what's good for me is good for the plants. But if you want to switch it out for organic or for unbleached paper towels then of course you can do that. I use four paper towels per tray with the design side down so that the seeds don't get caught in the indentations from the design. These paper towels fit nicely into the 10 by 10 trays. Now I pour the solutions in each tray to saturate the paper towels. Here you can see me pouring the Master Blend hydroponic solution into the tray marked Master Blend. Remember, the top tray has holes, so if there is too much water, it should drip down to the bottom tray, which doesn't have any holes. And now I repeat the process for the tray labeled Grow Big. Again, I cut off four sheets of paper towels, line the tray, and then saturate the tray with the Grow Big solution. And then finally, I do the same for the third tray labeled Plain Water, line it with four paper towels, and saturate it with plain water. For this experiment, I'm using these seeds. These are broccoli seeds, and I'm going to measure out the same amount for each tray, one tablespoon. 
I will use my trusty spice shaker, which has nice evenly spaced holes, so that I can distribute the seeds more evenly. Now that I have all three trays seeded, I want to make sure the seeds are nice and wet on top, so I spray the seeds each with the corresponding solution, one with plain water, one with Grow Big Solution, and one with the Master Blend formula. And then I cover them up with a tray to keep out the light. And here you can see all three trays set up. And now we wait. Okay, it's two days later. I planted these on Tuesday, and today is Thursday. And let's have a look at these. Here is the plain water. Here is the Grow Big. And here is the Master Blend. I don't see much of a difference between the three trays. They all seem to be germinating at the same rate. Okay, today is Sunday and these guys have been covered up since Tuesday. Normally I keep my microgreens covered up for the first four or even five days. Okay, let's have a look at the plain water. Now let's take a look at the Grow Big. And now let's take a look at the Master Blend. And it's really hard to judge at this stage, but I don't see much of a difference between the three trays at this point. We will have to see when they get a little bigger, but right now they look pretty much the same. Okay, it is still Sunday, the same day, but now it is night and I've left these uncovered all day. Again, this on the right is the plain water, and then in the middle is the Grow Big, and on the left is the Master Blend. I still don't see much of a difference between the three, but you can see they are starting to green up since I have exposed them to the light. And now it is a couple of days later. This is actually day seven. And you can finally see a difference between the three trays. Let's have a look at them. This one is the one that got just plain water. And although there is a crop to be harvested, when compared with its cousins who got nutrients, it is obvious that their growth is a little stunted. This one is the tray that got the Grow Big Hydroponic Solution, and you can see the leaves are bigger and the microgreens are more dense than the ones grown in just plain water. And the last tray, this is the one that was grown with the Master Blend formula. You can see this is also much nicer than the one grown with the plain water. It is obvious when you look at these that the one grown in plain water is smaller and less dense than the other two. You can grow with just plain water on a paper towel and you will get a crop to harvest, but if you add nutrients, you will obviously get a much larger yield. Now you might be saying, well, isn't that obvious? And of course it's obvious, but there are so many people out there who say microgreens don't need additional nutrients since the seed has all the nutrients in it for the young plant to survive. I think this is true at the very, very beginning of its life when the seed is just germinating and you see a little sprout, but as it is developing and putting out its first set of leaves, it seems that it can still survive at what we call the microgreen stage, but it will grow larger and faster if it has nutrients. Okay, it's time to harvest. Let's start with the Master Blend tray. When you grow these on paper towels, you can just pull these up roots and all and not worry about getting any soil onto the leaves. Take a look at how beautiful this looks. Now let's look at the Grow Big tray. It also has a nice crop of microgreens. I'm not sure if I see any difference between these and the Master Blend. Wow, these are really nice looking microgreens. Okay, let's move over to the tray that got just plain water. And the tray looks pretty sad next to the other two trays. By itself, it probably looks nice, but next to the two other trays, not so much. If you don't have the other two trays to compare this with, you really could be happy with these microgreens growing in just plain water. But when you look at the microgreens side by side, you can see there is a difference in the size of the leaves on each and also the size of the plants. The ones treated to the hydroponic solution have much more substance to them. Let's take a closer look at each one of these and you can see pretty clearly that the one on the right is much shorter than the other two. So the next time you hear that the seed contains all the nutrients a microgreen needs to grow, think back to this experiment. Yes, you will get a healthy crop if you grow on a paper towel with just plain water, 
but you'll get a much larger crop if you use a hydroponic solution. Is there a difference between the hydroponic solutions that I used? I don't think so. It didn't look as though there was much of a difference between the Grow Big and the Master Blend formula. And now the choice is yours. Plain water, hydroponic solution, or good old-fashioned potting soil. Either way, I hope you start growing soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye!